Kelly Barlow Creations Crafting on a Budget. Today's video is a bit of a different haul. It's not a haul that I've ever really done before. It is a Walmart crafting haul. I've had several requests from people that don't live in the States that don't have access to a Dollar Tree for me to do some farmhouse DIYs using non-Dollar Tree items, using items that I can pick up from Walmart, say, or Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's. And so that is just what I've been on a mission to do, is to bring some non-Dollar Tree farmhouse DIYs on a budget to those of you who don't have access to a Dollar Tree. So today's haul are items that I've picked up from Walmart that I will be using in upcoming DIYs. So let's jump into it and let me show you some of the really cool finds that I found at Walmart that I'm really excited about. Walmart has amazing frames. I don't mind paying $4 for a frame because the frames that you can get for $4 at Walmart are so stinking amazing. I absolutely love them and this is one of them. It is a five by seven. I also picked up this eight by 10. And I also picked up this 16 by 20 inch frame. Absolutely love this frame. It is so gorgeous. And this will be for an upcoming DIY as well. And I only paid $12 for this frame because it has plexiglass instead of regular glass. And that was exactly what I needed for this upcoming DIY that I'll be using this for was plexiglass, not regular glass. I also picked up this really big bag of green Spanish moss. I picked this up from Walmart because it was $3.97 for this bag. One, my Dollar Tree hasn't been carrying the green moss lately, and two, I would have had to buy six or seven from Dollar Tree to have as much as this bag has. I picked up 15 bunches of these wild flowers that Walmart has. They were 97 cents a piece. I picked up seven of the yellow and eight of the pink and one stem of hydrangeas. I picked this up for $3. This 10 pack of wood tags that I paid $1.97 for. One of these wood keepsake boxes. This is also for an upcoming DIY. A wood cigar box. Two wood plaques, a round one and an oval one. These were 97 cents a piece two of these plastic Waverly stencils, a couple cans of Rust-Oleum's textured paint in the colors of Caribbean sand and desert bisque. And I did have another textured spray paint, which is this autumn brown by Rust-Oleum as well. These three crosses that say faith, hope, and love could not pass up these bunny silicone molds. These will make for perfect bath bombs or soaps. I picked up several of these flip top bottles that you can store shampoo or soap in. I'll be using these in an upcoming DIY. These next items are for my cake pop videos that I'm gonna be doing. I found a cake pop book at Dollar Tree and I hauled it a couple weeks ago and I asked you if you all were interested in me working my way through that book and the response was incredible. So many of you said yes, so I went to Walmart and picked up a bunch of fun things to make a lot of different cake pops. This is a silicone bowl with this divider here. You can melt two different color chocolates so you can go from one to the next and I thought this would come in useful some of this white buttercream fondant. This is the Great Value brand. This will be easy for coloring. These individual fondants in the colors of black, blue, purple, and pink. These were $1.87 a piece. These fondant decorating roll kits. This box has four of the bright, bold colors, and this one has the lighter spring type colors. Two different types of sprinkles a square cake pop stand that will hold 25 cake pops. I picked up a bunch of these candy melts in assorted colors. I picked them up at Walmart because they were, I believe, $1.87 a piece or $1.97, under $2. And that's about the same price that you would pay at Michael's or Joann's using a coupon. And last but not least, my new favorite find that Walmart is now carrying is this Rustic Farmhouse Chicken Wire. Oh my word, are you kidding me? 
This was $2.97 for this roll. It is 24 inches wide by 48 inches long. I love this. This is a new item that Walmart is now carrying. I found it in the floral department. And I tell you, when I saw this for $2.97, I grabbed a couple of these because there are endless farmhouse DIYs that I can do using this rustic farmhouse chicken wire. And so there you have it. This here is my new favorite find. I also stopped at Target because they've got amazing dollar bins there. And I wanted to see what all they had for Easter. Allie found some amazing things that we hauled for her for her classroom. I was excited though when I saw these wooden eggs. Target is carrying wooden eggs, a six pack for $3. You can't get two of these for under $5 at Joann's or Michael's. So the fact that Target had a six pack for $3, I picked up two packs of these wooden eggs. Well, everybody, that's all I have for you for today for this Walmart crafting haul. And I forgot to tell you, yes, I did stop by Target and pick up a couple of items. Tell me that those dollar bins at Target are not amazing. They've got some really cute, fun things that rotate in and out of those bins. And so I personally think that that is a stop that I will be making on some of my hauls just to see what's in those bins because they've got some really great items in there. So make sure to stay tuned for some of these upcoming farmhouse DIYs that I will be doing using these items. Please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. You can also follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, Google Plus, and Twitter. You can find those links in the description box below. Just click on those links, click follow, and you'll also be notified through social media when I'm uploading a new video or just doing something fun. You can also find my P.O. box in the description box below as well if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy everything on a budget. And bye for now, everybody. <laughs>